Hi everyone, it's me Keegan. I'm Jason. And Brittany. And Dustin. And Eric. And you're watching the Smoky Mountain family. Today we're at? We are at the Noah Bud Ogle place. We're going to do a little trail back in here, explore the cabin. Let's get it. the Cubs fail. That is so precious. That is so precious. This is the second trailhead that we've been at where in lieu of actual pamphlets for sale, there was just trash. And uh, this is probably why we're looking at finding a way to fund the park cigarette butts, all kinds of stuff. There's not enough rangers to be able to come out here and clean up. Like all the time. Yeah. Every time what is like trail, fun? It's muddy. Fun muddy? Big Branch Trail. Twin, Twin Creek Trail. Gatlinburg, 1.8 miles back that way. So you see some more walls here, evidence of farming or property boundaries, that sort of stuff. Oh my gosh, he about bit it. He about bit it. Or, or maybe don't even know.
for life in the Great Smoky Mountains. This sapling do anything it can to get some sunlight. The girls said this is their house. Oh, they found. See, get off my property. <laughs> <laughs> Just one of the many grist mills or mills along this creek. It's nice and level down here, so it wouldn't be any trouble um, building it, putting it together, creating space, anything like that. the trail here and one of these fell right over top of it <laughs> so we're traversing a small boulder field Was it a flying squirrel? You know, they had those flying squirrels up at Cleveland's Dome. There you go. It's a good area to lay back with your mind on your money and your money on your mind. No money and no mind. Just peace. <laughs> that was one that you're like, I can't believe it's already been three fourths of a mile because you keep wanting to see more stuff because every turn has something cute, has something cool wildlife, flowers, stream, structures. I mean, yeah. everywhere. My, I, my thing is, I say it all the time, my favorite hike isn't a destination hike, it's the entirety. Yeah, the yeah, it's where there's hike. always something to see. Yeah. I, I can't believe it. I, like, I'm, I'm shocked. It's my first time on it, and like, there was much more than I expected. And especially during springtime, like yeah. this, now if you read like National Park publications, it doesn't really, I don't believe, mention this trail at all yeah. when it talks about like where to go on the wildflower pilgrimage, but. I mean, man, there was a lot of wildfires. Me right and my here. brother went on this hike with my grandma, and it's crazy, like the power of memory, because we've never been on this hike. Yeah. And I don't have, I have memory problems because PTSD. So for me to remember. Yeah. And it, it like, it's like, whoa! I remember it was so cool. It was, it was so like awesome. visualizing when I was a little kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah doing I it. Still remember. remembered it, but I didn't realize it. It's like, hey, you remember? Me and him was talking, like, hey, you remember behind this? Is there's gonna be this? And, we're, and then it was, and we're like, oh. Right. <laughs> Man, and that's what makes it that's what makes it so special right yeah. because there's like memory tied to it there's a nostalgic you know mm -hmm. um appeal to it so <laughs> you want to watch me you <laughs> This is like Smoky Mountains in my book. Like this is what I envision. Like the boulders here with the older cabins and houses. Yeah. And then you could hear the stream. Like this is it. This is the picture. This embodies it, right? Like I think the, you said that earlier. The trees that are budding. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The dogwood in the background. Yeah. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. This is now we, we do of course like, people like to see restaurants people like to yeah. see hotels but like this is what really brings people here I think yeah. this is what pe keeps us coming back and makes yeah. it special. Do you think that you know we talked about mobile and parity on the trail and obviously it's very challenging even though it's short uh, you can see if you look the parking lot way in the background there. Uh, do you think it would be something that somebody with mobile and parity would at least be able to come and see the cabin if they got out? It's very short, but... So my uncle, he had mobile and parity, and um, he 
didn't have any assistance, like he didn't walk with pain or anything, but you know, he had autism, he had seizures and caused some damage. But um, he would be able to make it here. Okay. And this is about as far as he would go. I don't even think that he ventured up, at least towards the end, I know he did, to the, to the barn. To the barn and there's a lot of rocks there, but like to here, he could manage. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was thinking about that because it is very close, but there's still some. I mean, you definitely not bring a wheelchair back through here. Yeah, no, not a walk. Wall. Yeah, that would even be tough. A cane, maybe. That was Noah Bud Ogle Farm self guiding nature trail. Mm. I'm gonna jump in with the radio. I'm gonna raise hand. Um, it is so cute. My style hike is the entirety of the hike is cute, not a destination hike. Um, and it met all of those things, like I said on the trail. Um, I haven't done this one since I did it with my grandma back when I was like a kid. So um, it's really cool. How cool it was is like I remembered things from all the way back then. That's how much of an impact it had on me. So, um, yeah, it's a tent. It's a shame that it's overlooked. There is wildlife here. There is a stream here. There's wildflowers here. I mean, what else can you, there's a house, there's history here. Like, there's a farm, you know, there's shit. so much, it has so much going on. It's also a good hike for kids. I watch a lot of top family hikes. This one's never been on it. It needs to be oh, because it isn't yeah. so challenging that they're going to be over it, but it is isn't graveled or paved so they still feel like they're cool they're in the mountain you know they're climbing rocks that you don't really have to worry about them falling you know yeah. it's it's really cool it's a 10. what do you think about it keegan i thought it was pretty awesome uh 10 because i how long was it it was just three fourths of a mile it wasn't that long but it felt long and it, normally i don't like trails that are long but like i'm kind of glad it felt kind of long because I love like the nature kind of effect of it and how like all the rocks and the streams and then also how when you're finished with it, you kind of get to see the cabins if you didn't see it before. And I like, I didn't even really know this was here. I've been on it before, but I was like a little, so I don't really remember it. So I didn't even know it was here really. I just looked she at the cabin before. She's not been, been on it. Been this cabin, is you told me I've been on it before. Okay. Um. <laughs> I read the tent, I really liked it. I really liked the stuff that was there. And like, you could hit, like, one of that person could like eat the trail out without getting hurt. Um, so I'll rate it a 10. 10. Dustin. I'm gonna rate it a 10. Um, it's probably my favorite trail in the Smokies. Uh, it's kind of like a, what's the word? Mm. Sentimental. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, like yeah. a sentimental trail for me because I've had so many memories here. Um, it literally has everything. Oh. <laughs> it literally has everything that you need, that you want or need in a trail. It has the streams, the, the cabins, the flowers. We seen, we seen bear when we was coming up here. Yeah, we seen yeah. deers a, uh, a, twice. Um, a woodpecker. And a woodpecker. And a squirrel. And a squirrel. I thought the woodpecker <laughs> was a chicken at first. I was like, whoa. <laughs> It's a big but, bear. Yeah, I get it I'd on say the camera, though. I'd say I rated a ten. It's yeah. definitely definitely something you need to come do if you can. All right, for all the reasons that everybody had already mentioned, I'm also going to go ten. For what this is, a three quarters of a mile hike. It has, like you said, history. The water has. We we see wildlife here. Has some flowers, just like you guys said. Uh, there's really not much more to actually say about this place that hadn't already been said. So I'm going to give it a 10. I really enjoyed it. I will say I didn't know this was here. I didn't even, I, I didn't realize, I knew there was a trail here, but I didn't realize that it was what it was. And I've been missing out. So next time you're headed into Roaring Fork, this doesn't take any more than, I mean, we filmed, you know, all kinds of stuff. And it still just, it took us under an hour. Yeah. So if you're headed up Roaring Fork, it's in the morning definitely worth your time to go back here and uh, hit this trail and take it all in really good time all right thanks for watching guys we'll see you next time bye, bye.